Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to take an S-Bus receiver from Futaba um, <clears throat> and in addition to using the S-Bus ports, you have a couple of ports here, port 1, 2, and 3. You're going to be able to use these ports as um, channels on your transmitter. So, <clears throat> there is a couple of different options that Futaba offers you with that. They do call it uh, groups rather than channels and what you can do is you can kind of get an idea real quick on what you can what's offered to you alright so port 1 and 2 can be channel 1 and 2 and so forth down to here so if you're using two separate uh, mechanisms that need a switch on your transmitter in my case I needed a gimbal uh, pitch controller and I also needed a switch for retractable landing gear I use channel 11 and 12 because the rest are being used uh, or the combinations just didn't work for me so for example port 1 and 2 these were my um, my controls so I, I couldn't you know 1 through 4 I couldn't use so the combinations here didn't work for me so like channel 8 worked well because there was nothing assigned to that but channel 4 wasn't because that's I think my throttle or my, ele uh, my elevator so that didn't work. So I used channel 11 and channel 12. And let me show you how to get to that. If you have one of these receivers, they're pretty nifty. Um, you're going to hold down the link button. First thing you're going to do is make sure the transmitter's off, actually. Hold down the link button when you got juice to the receiver. Hold it down for more than five seconds. It's going to flash rapidly. There it goes right there. Now, after it's done flashing, it's also going to flash again and show you what mode it is. My instance, I set this to um, group four, channel one and five, on the sheet here, and you can see that it corresponds to the way it's flashing green one time. So all you have to do is tap the link button until you get to the desired group that you want. So for instance, I wanted group seven, right? So I'm looking for a red and green LED lit up at the same time. So right now I'm at two flashes green, I'm gonna go again, three flashes green, and here's where I wanna be. That's red and green LED lighting up at the same time. Kinda hard to see through the video, but it's doing it. So now in order to actually assign that, I wanna hold this down again for another five seconds so it flashes rapidly, right there. You're done, unplug the receiver, plug it back in, now in order for me to verify what I've just done, I want to hold the link button down again for a couple of seconds until it flashes quickly. It's done. Let's see where I'm at. Yep. One flash, red and green. So that's it. It's pretty simple. It took me a freaking long time to figure it out. But it's done and it's set for you. Here's your little guide. And you don't have to read all of this because I've done that for you. And if you have any questions where I can help you, I'd be more than happy to do so. Remember, do not turn the transmitter on or it will not work. Thanks.